blessed Sunday to you all. Um, I just got back shortly, a little bit ago, from going to church with my mom and my brother, and it was a really nice service. So um, a lot of great things, things that made me feel happy in my heart and made me feel energized along with the sunshine today, you guys. I have so much energy and just so excited to be here and I thought this is the perfect time for me to sit down and show you something that I had made a couple weeks ago. Um, I was collecting things and it, I came up with a, well, I saw, first of all, a PDF tutorial on Pinterest on how to make these and I thought, you know what, that's awesome. I'm gonna put this into a video form and share it with you guys because I thought these were so charming. And I'll show you the first one I made and um, it may not be perfect, but I think I'm getting close. And I'm gonna be making three of these today. I'm only gonna make one on camera. Um, I decided that I'd make a beautiful gift for my mom friends. And instead of saving it for Mother's Day, which is still a long ways away, I am going to give it to them um, well, hopefully Monday. So I want to go ahead and get these going, but I really want to share them with you. It doesn't take long to make. They look like they'd be difficult to make, but they're not. Super easy pendant, but it just take a second and I will turn this around and I'll show you guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. I hope that whatever is going out on outside here is going on outside where you live. Um, I hope that you're having a glorious day too. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Okay, everybody, so this is what we have. And if you say, wow, that looks like a nest with some eggs in it, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's a nest with three little pink pearls that I put in it. And this was my first one that I made. It was just a little practice one for me. Um, but I think I know a few areas where I went wrong. Um, this little spot up at the top here is a little bit of a loop that you can hang some wire through, uh, maybe do a beaded chain with it, or just use some of your crayana chain or whatever. Um, now, the PDF that I saw um, on Pinterest had them using, you know, six millimeter beads. So that's exactly what I'm using here, six millimeter beads. And um, they were using white pearls and the white pearls look so cute with it. And of course it would look pretty in any color um, metal that you would choose to use. However, I am going to do something a little bit different and I am going to use um, my mom friend's children's birthstone colors. Now, it's not their technical birthstone, that, that we know, right? We know that it's probably not gonna be their technical birthstone, but I found colors that were close to the children's birthstones. So um, for my friend Mindy, she wanted silver, because she loves silver. So her children are aquamarine, um, amethyst, and ruby. So these are the three beads that we're gonna be using for her eggs. So I know that seems weird that we're using colored um, beads for eggs, but I want it to be um, like her little her little chickies that haven't you know hatched out of their eggs yet. So we're gonna use that. Um, the other things you'll need for this project, you need four feet of you can use twenty or twenty two gauge um, uh, your wire, your craft wire, or your I shouldn't say craft wire, but you know your bead wrapping wire, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna use that. And you're going to need your pliers and your cutters. And those are really the only tools you need besides your fingers. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and start this. And so what you're going to do, I just wanna make sure my hands are gonna be lined up correctly in here so you can see it's a lot of hand work. So we're just gonna straighten some of this out and move it off to the side. It doesn't matter if you're if your um, wire gets a little kinked or curled or anything like that, it's really okay because you're gonna be making a nest. So the first thing you wanna do is measure out about six inches of your beading wire. And then you're just going to take your pliers and give it a nice sharp bend, okay? Just like that, nice sharp bend. And then you can just feed your beads on if you're using different colors, it could be in any order you want. Um, I'm just putting them on here randomly. 
Okay, here, whoop, lost my little, my little ruby. All right. Okay, so now when you do that, you're just going to turn them like, no, oh, excuse me, let me try to get that. Now, some of the wire is gonna be exposed as you can see that, right? So I have like a little triangle here and that's okay. That's This is what it's gonna look like because the wire is actually the nest. So, and you know that when you see eggs laying in a nest, um, you see the nest between the eggs and stuff like that too. So we have that and you just wanna kind of hold that tight and you're going to take the short end and we're gonna bring it through the middle here to try to just make like a little wrap to secure them and tighten them. Now you can use your pliers too to try to give yourself more strength to pull if you need to. All right, so now we have that. Okay, so you can use this wire and you're just going to wrap until this little piece of wire disappears. You know what? Sorry, I undid my things because I made a, like a kind of a mess and I forgot what I was doing for a second. So let's start, let's try that again. So we have, my, we have our wire and let's go ahead. <laughs> So I just cut it loose, you guys, and, I, and I'm like, what are you doing, Jody? <laughs> what are you doing? So <clears throat> that's all I had to do to fix it, is I had to cut it off and let's start over. All right, so here we go. But I wanted you to see where we started over. I didn't want to start the whole video completely over um, because you guys need to know that I made a mistake. All right, so you're not going to bring that in. Now, mind you, I only made one, and it was like two weeks ago. And um, yeah, I totally forgot my stuff. All right, so, and I remembered as I like started looping things through and I'm like, nope, that's not how you do it, Jody. All right, so we're going to twist this wire around the big wire once, okay? So you have one complete little thing. And I kept thinking, I'm like, you know what? It looks funny, it looks funny. It doesn't look like my, my little other bird nest. <laughs> All right, and then we're just going to wrap this around the bottom and around the side of our beads. And we're going to use our pliers to make this little piece disappear underneath. And it's all gonna get covered up. Like you don't wanna have anything pokey and it's all gonna be covered up. And like I said, if you have bends and kinks, that's good because you want this to look very much like a bird's nest. And we know that bird's nests, they use all kinds of different materials and um, twigs and they don't have like a perfect finished, um, although bird's nests are amazing and they do a great job, they're not perfectly round, right? There's like little bits and pieces that stick out. All right, so now that we have that, let's just go ahead and give this a quick wrap around a few times. And you wanna to try to keep it as tight as you can. And then we want to start trying to go underneath like so and keep going around and underneath and around. And the whole time you're just pressing this wire into your beads. Don't neglect the bottom because you're going to want to get the bottom covered too as best as you can. And we'll do more bottom coverage as we get towards the end and you'll see when I'm saying to you um, as we do it. So soon you'll start seeing this take some form, right? So here we are right now. This is what it looks like so far. And I think it looks really pretty with the different colored beads in it, especially with the silver. I think that really stands out. See what our bottom looks like. Okay, see, so I have some middle parts here, which this is gonna be okay. See, right now it just looks like a bunch of windy mess, right? When we get towards the end more, I will show you what we're going to do with that to make that a little more filled in. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm kind of focusing on the bottom a little bit here and coming back up around the sides. And there's no wrong or right way to do this, right? So this is going to be um, your what you want to see happen. So you may want to use thicker wire. You may want to use, um, you know, uh, maybe, or thinner wire even. You may want to use 26 gauge or 24 gauge wire. Um, and that's absolutely fine. You can do that. I was using 20 to 22 because for me, it just feels easier to work with. Okay, and we're gonna just keep going around and around and around until we have just around a, maybe a foot, maybe a little bit more than a foot of wire left, okay? So here's our nest so far. And here's the back of our nest so far. The back looks pretty messy, doesn't it? That's okay, all right, so we are here now so now what we're going to do is we need to start pushing this through right because we need to somehow connect the bottom so we're taking the end of our wire and we're pushing it through the top of our nest and this is also going to create like little things that'll hold your nest together right like little it almost looks like little branches all right and it's okay if you pull really tight and it moves, that's fine. Because look at how nice, nicely shaped that's getting. It's starting to look really, really good. All right, so we can go back around. And when we get to the next little group of beads, let's do the same thing. But let's go through kind of like in between the beads where the, see where this, I'm sorry, there's so much wire here. See where this little wire is? Let's go in between those and right straight through the middle, okay? And, and like I said, this isn't like a perfect instruction because this is going to turn out differently for everybody. Everyone is going to have something very unique here. And now if you don't like the way the wire looks, you can tuck that down in there. Take your players, tuck it down in there. Like I don't like the way this wire is sitting. So I'm gonna just smush it down in there and give it a nice tug, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna go back through this spot but I'm gonna go on the outside of these beads to try to like put another little holding my nest together stitch there. Okay. All right. And then let's go ahead and go back around and let's go, whoops, I'm grabbing my, let me get all these things out of the way here. Oh, and I see my light. I just touch it with like a tool and it does something weird. Let me see, how does that look? Okay, it still looks okay. So I'm going back through between these two now. I have not been between these two beads, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's do that one one more time. Just going back through. and just give it a nice tight tug. All right, see how cute that's looking? It's looking so adorable. All right, so keep on going around. And when you get to the next beads, go back through again. Let's go right back through. Scooting my, my little felt bead mat all around. All right, see, see how it's turning out? Looking really, really cute. All right, so now what we wanna do is we want to actually kind of give this a little spot to for you to hang like a, you could either do it to hang up right from the pendant itself, like make it like a little bale, or you can make just like a little lump that you can hang like a jump ring on. So we're just gonna do that right here. Okay, just like a little, see how I made just like a little twist and my intentions are, I would like to hang it directly from the chain, like no jump ring needed, okay? So I just gave it a little twist and I made it about that big. So it's just enough for some wire or some chain to go through. All right, and now let's go back through. Now I'm going from underneath to up. So that way we can make it look a little bit different check the look at the back see the back is getting covered if you really want to you can go through the bottom here too and just like you're doing like a couple like little 
stitches and just kind of feed the wire up through a couple of these. If you have to, you can use your wires to manipulate that, your players a little bit to manipulate the wire for you to get all the way through. Okay. And now mind you, the back probably is not going to look perfect, but no one's really going to see the back very much, so it's gonna be okay. And I'm trying to keep these a little bit looser just so that way it covers a little bit more. Oh, goodness. Basically just looking for a place to feed it through. And again, if you need to manipulate the wire a little bit, you can, because there's a whole lot of wire here. There's four feet of wire in this piece. And we're going to just kind of squish all those in. You're going to want to use your wires a lot to manipulate, the, or your players a lot to manipulate this wire to doing and laying the way you want it to lay. All right, so let's go back around again because we want to um, just keep going around if we can, just a little bit, and secure the sides some more. So this, this has been like a really fun little project. And I think that it's very, it could be very personal. And, you know, again, like with Mother's Day coming up, it would be a wonderful Mother's Day gift. I say coming up and it's like months away, right? But <laughs> I think that it would make a really great gift for that. Um, uh, I, I love that you don't need to know a person's ring size to give um, somebody like something that represents like a mother's type gift, right? A mother's ring type gift. Um, or if even if the person's not a mom, it's okay. Like do it all in pearls. I mean, who doesn't think nests are pretty? Nests, I think there's two structures in this world that I am always in awe when I see. One is a spider web and and the other is a bird's nest. And I just, I, it's so amazing that God gave these creatures like the ability to build a home for their young and, and like out of whatever they find um, laying around or for the spider, a place to trap its food. I mean, it's, it's really amazing. Okay, and we do want to just keep going. And if you if you think your nest looks like a hot mess, like right now, I'm looking at this, I'm like, man, this looks like a mess. It's fine. I'm telling you, it's fine. And I'll show you why when we get to the end here. All right, so now we're coming around and we're getting we're getting very little wire left, right? So we do want to go through maybe a couple more times just to keep securing these sides. And then we're going to hide what's left of our wire in a minute here. If you need to, grab your nylon jaw pliers, give it a nice little tug if you need another, some more strength. All right, we're gonna do one more through on this side here. Okay. And I think now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to hide our wires and we're gonna do some manipulating of our nest.
All right, so I know I said kinks are okay, but some of them make it hard for you to manage. So just go ahead and bend them straight and um, <clears throat> it should be easier for you to work with then. And I think we're actually at the point where we're just gonna go ahead and hide this, okay? So we're gonna stick this through this whole bottom mess. Just find a little opening for you to stick it through. Okay. Oop, sorry guys, shaking the whole table here. All right, and once you get it through somewhere where you know it's not going to do anything, see mine's right here. I'm gonna just nip that little piece off and tuck it in. Just give it a little tuck. Okay, all right, so now, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and fix our nest with our players. So, and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of reshaping some of my little branches here. And you can even take your players and do some little twists on the wires just to make it look more um, branch-like. So I'm just taking my wire, grabbing a hold and twisting, giving the wires nice little bends. Okay. All right, and now go ahead and look at your little creation here and see what you think. If you think that you need to move some stuff a little bit more, um, I think this looks just about perfect for me. Um, I think this is a little bit too straight though, so I think I wanna grab some of these and just do some little twisting and some pulling just to try to make it look a little more bird nest-like. And then I'm gonna find my little loop that I left and I'm just going to make sure I can get anything through it that I want to get through it and there we go there's our little silver bird nest I still have this side where I'm like I don't know there's just something not right about it I mean this is something you can just kind of pick at right until you find that you feel like 100% confident about it And then the final thing, just feel around. Like if you're feeling like a sharp edge, go ahead and smush it down and get rid of it. All right, so here is my friend Mindy's bird nest. And um, these are her children, her bonus child and her two biological children. Um, so she can wear this now and all those little eggs are her kids. How cute is that? All right, so again, one of the important things is just remembering that, you know, either leave a space for you to, or create a space even, like right here, I could have just hung a jump ring right here and it would have been fine. So there's gonna be spots all over your little bird nest that's going to help you. So here's my first one and here's the one I made. I See how different they look? They're not going to be exactly the same. This one, I used a smaller gauge wire and I think maybe I used maybe a little bit more than four feet. This one, it was right about four feet, if not maybe a couple inches shorter because of my mistake in the beginning. But either way, they're all going to look a little different. And you can keep just like preening it until you get exactly the look that you're looking for. Anyway, so this is a project that's not going to look perfect because it's a bird nest. And so this gives you the opportunity to work with wire and um, really play around with it and manipulate it 
until you find the outcome that you want. Um, I can see my friends absolutely loving these when I showed them the picture of this. They were all super excited when I said, I need your kids' birthdays because I want to make each one of you your own pendant. So the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on some Coriana chain for them and I will present them their necklaces on Monday. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I know it wasn't super long. Um, it was kind of a, you needed four things tutorial. Um, it doesn't involve a ton of skill. Anybody can do this. It's just, it's something that you want to just sit down, clear your mind, grab a few beads and practice with. If you do want to maybe do it with just one egg, use a larger bead, you know, um, use a larger single bead. Or if you want, if you want to make this for a mom that has five kids, you maybe use four millimeter beads. I mean, there, you can do anything with this. So be creative, um, grab yourself some wire, grab yourself a few beads and practice. And if you can, I would really love it if you make one, if you can show me a photo of what you made, because I really like to see people, you know, trying things that, um, that I'm trying to. So again, I wanted to take the, the PDF version of the um, bird nest that I found on Pinterest and turn it into a little video for you guys. So don't forget that there's there's inspiration in everything around you. So utilize your tools, utilize your Pinterest and your Google and everything else and find inspiration in all these things. People put their ideas out there because they want people to get that creative flow and make things. And um, just remember that. So this is me passing on a learning that I had the other night. And again, have fun with it. Um, this is not a stressful piece of jewelry. It's going to be very, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's very relaxing to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and make my other two now and have the chains put on and have them ready to go tomorrow. So have a blessed day, everybody. And I will probably come back soon for another tutorial. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.